All right, guys, so welcome to the channel. It's a fun day today. I'm gonna show you guys some new equipment that just recently came in, literally just came in. It's been here like 20 minutes. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, what we're gonna be using on the lawn to improve the, the, hopefully the quality of the turf, you know, to improve the number of cultural practices we're able to do on the lawn on a regular basis. So what I've got here is the Allet C27. Uh, this is the electric version of it, so you know everything's going towards electric. It's something you guys have wanted to see on the channel for a while. So this is the Allet C27, and then over here, I've got three cartridges that we're gonna go with as well. So we've got uh, the eight blade cutting cartridge, uh, the turf rake, and then also the verticutter. I'm really excited about the verticutter because it's something I've wanted to be able to do on the lawn for a while. So having that in-house is gonna be really cool. So let's get to unboxing it. You guys wanna really see me talk. I'll walk through uh, to uh, so actually getting this guy out. Again, obviously not rehearsed, so you guys will get to see it as it, as it actually happens. All right. Special thanks to, uh, to Roland and the team over in Allet, both in the United States and over in the UK for helping to make this possible. We're really looking forward to seeing how this, uh, how this unit does. All right, so that was easy enough. That was easy enough, so I'm thinking the box, the top just lifts off. All right, and we can come in here and take a look. You can see how it's packaged, really nice. So it looks like, first of all, we got the grass catcher. Like even this, even this thing is probably, I don't know, seven, seven pounds, maybe close. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty beefy, pretty beefy as far as grass catchers go. So we'll set this aside, looking really good. And I'm guessing to get the mower out, this probably all lifts off. So let's uh, pull this off now. Next. All right. And that's it. In all its glory. Look at this, guys. No engine, just ports for a battery. And that's what you get. So there's the frame, there's the chassis of the, uh, of the C27E. I'm thinking this probably folds back. Oh, this comes off, looks like. Yep, so this comes off. So I'll pull that off and set it. I guess it goes on top here. So actually, let me set this down. There's probably an instruction manual somewhere that I should read. But this comes off, amounts, um, imagine here, I see the, um, the spots for the bolts to go through. You got, yeah, instruction manual mounting brackets uh, that are right here. So I'll have to do that like, you know, probably off camera. Um, but see if I can get in here and show you guys some of the battery, the battery electrical portion of it. So if I can pull this up and pull this out. You can see this guy is powered by three uh, Greenworks 82 volt lithium ion batteries. So three, uh, three batteries is what runs this guy. It's back on here, so I don't scratch it up, but I'll show you what actually what the batteries look like here really quick while that sits there. Is I've got one of them here and that's it. It's like a uh, 82 volt. She's already topped off, I think, ready to go. 82 volt uh, battery. This is the five milliamp hour. Somebody running three of those. From what I understand, it drains the batteries in series. So you can literally run it off of one battery if you want or off of three, which is what I, I plan to do. So looking pretty good, man. Look at this, look this, 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 this grooved roller. I mean, that thing is, is ginormous. It's really, really thick. Really, it looks like it's built like a tank, man. Again, I'll, I'll get it out of here and show you guys once it's all fully put together. But you can see how big and thick all those grooves are. Again, as you can tell, it's a very, it's definitely a step up as far as compared to their their um, homeowner line. This feels like it's really, you know, built to run and run and run and run. So what you'd expect at a mower at this price point, uh, you expect this kind of build quality. Because again, this is used largely on, um, Soccer fields, cricket, um, cricket fields, or cricket pitches is probably the correct uh, term. Um, just a lot of a lot of professional uh, turf. So this is something I, I would want for my lawn. You know, like I have a, a larger lawn, and I really want something that I can just run and run and not have to worry about you know it breaking down on me or having to be you know too gentle on it. All right, so let's take a look at some of the turf cartridges here. I'll, I'm just so going to get a couple of these out so you can take a see what I've got. And there it is. Take a look at that. So you can see this is what we're gonna be using for cleaning out debris out of the turf. It's got these little spring-loaded tines, which are really nice. So this will drop in there. I'm just gonna pick this up and see how heavy, heavy this is. On the label, on the, the box it says heavy, and 
yeah, that feels, that's a good, it's a good 25, 30 pounds. I mean, this is, this has got some, some weight to it. Let's see if this will come off and we can get into some of the other cartridges. Next we have, ooh, this is the one I was really excited to see. This is the Verticutter. Look at that. Again, this is really, see as far weight wise, this is heavier. <laughs> this is definitely a lot heavier uh, than that unit. Be able to use this to, 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 to cut those stolons, really thin the lawn out a little bit, you know, plan to run this on the lawn uh, here soon. This is probably gonna be one of the, I'll probably turf rake that I'll run this. This is the one I'm, I'm most excited about for the lawn. Being able to do this on my lawn, Alex's lawn, you know, anyone else around here that we decide we wanna do some verticutting. Now we've got the means to be able to do that. And then finally is the eight blade reel. You can see what's interesting about, about Alex, one thing they do, I'm to be careful, I'm going to get myself cut on this, is, good Lord, <laughs> are the grass deflectors. So as far as for filling, whenever this is running, it's supposed to do a better job of more evenly getting the grass throughout the entire grass box versus it all getting thrown to one side, which is, tends to happen with other mowers. And weight-wise, this is, that's a good, Lord, I don't know, what is that? That's probably 60, 70 pounds, maybe more. That's heavy. That's heavy, guys. So there it is. We have the eight blade reel, the verticutter, and the turf rake. And now the next thing is gonna be just to put all this together and then show you guys the machine fully built. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not as yet, because something else is gonna happen is you're gonna see a full review of it once I get a chance to run it a little bit. I'll compare it to other mowers that I have. Uh, you know, I'll, you guys will see it running the turf rake, the verticutter, obviously mowing as well, as well as runtime and all that kind of stuff. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you've not as yet. I really appreciate you guys watching. It's something we kind of did impromptu. You know, it's not my normal scripted content, but I figured you guys might want to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.